Okay, la bug. So today, um, I am starting my first day of my vegan journey. Okay, I'm in the Wendy's line right now. I have asked you guys to join this vegan journey with me because I know I'm not the only person with high cholesterol. I'm not the type of person who can just be like, okay, I'm waking up today and I'm going to quit cigarettes. Okay, I'm waking up today and I'm going to quit uh, alcohol. I, I don't do neither, but I'm just giving you an example. But I'm not the kind of person that can just stop cold turkey. You know, if I was an addict or a pill pop or something like that, what I would have to do is gradually wean myself off. I'm just like a realistic person about my endeavors. So I always start small and then work my way up. What I've decided to do in regards to my journey is uh, do one vegan day a week for a month. Get past that. Do two vegan days a week for two months. And then three vegan days a week for three months. It, that'll be a total of six months. And then we will revisit where we are, what we're feeling. Has it been hard for us? You know, I want us to share our journey with each you know, other. I've told you guys before, I am, I am a food addict. You know, I might not have the size of someone that you would believe is a food addict, but I definitely am. I have poor self-control with uh, my eating habits. And I'm trying to be realistic about what I can do and how I'm going to get things done. Because trust me, it's really hard. And you have to be on your game in regards to being vegan. What is being vegan? Vegan is not eating anything that breathes or anything that comes from something that breathes. You know how hard that is? I love cheese. My doctor has been encouraging me because of my high cholesterol. Like at first I was like, you know, okay, I ain't worried about my cholesterol because I do have bad cholesterol. It's bad. But then it was like, uh, the good cholesterol, I was psyched because the good cholesterol was really good. But no, man, that's not the situation right now. It's good still, but it's not good enough. So I said, let me take my health seriously and change the way that I, because I know that I'm too lazy to be that person to just get out and jog. I do walk Lulu, but it's only for like 20 minutes a day. And then it's kind of a brisk walk. Like it's 10 minutes, Lulu messing around, smelling the air. And then um, we're doing our brisk walk because Lulu be like, hurry up, mom. I need to get back to the car. I'm tired. So what I had this morning on my first day of vegan day, and I haven't had a set day. I just know in a seven day period, I need to do one vegan day. Okay. So I woke up. I went to Dunkin' Donut as usual. I love my Dunkin' Donut. It's like I have to get it every day, even if I ain't going nowhere. Hello, can I have a large fry, please? No. No. Thank you. So this morning I went to Dunkin' Donuts and instead of me getting my half decaf, half regular, two creams, two sugars, I got uh, one sugar and almond milk. Okay, and you know, almond milk, that's just seeds, child. I don't know how I'm going to make it with all these damn seeds all over. It's like it seems like that's all you can eat is friggin' seeds. So this morning, that's what I did for my morning coffee. And it wasn't bad. It really wasn't. Now, you got to pay 69 cents for the almond milk. It's, America is really messed up. It's like you got to pay all this extra money just to be healthy. It's like it's just a big scam. Like I'm Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The fact that you have to pay so much money to be healthy is 
absolutely disgusting. For lunch. Like you, what I'm having is the large fry. That's vegan because it's from a potato. Um, salt on it. I need to have my salt. Then later on, I'm going to eat. Uh, it's this this meatless soup I got from the frozen food section. And trust me, when you start your journey, you're going to have to make sure you have your phone so that you can Google, is this vegan friendly? Like I was going to get some uh, fried rice. Because I'm thinking it's no, it's it's only rice and 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 vegetables. But fried rice is cooked in egg. So you can't eat it. That's why you have to uh, make sure that you are checking before you do it. Or um, if I get hungry later, I have this cereal. It's Kashi. It's called Almond Flaxseed Crunch. And flaxseed is very good for those of us who have high cholesterol, okay? And, you know, I believe that I have a high cholesterol problem because I'm not as regular as far as, you know, pooping or boo-booing as I should be, okay? That, that right there is definitely a concern. It has been all my life. Even when I was, you know, moving. Frequently, I still didn't poop the way that I should have been pooping, right? But that flaxseed, oh my God, and that cereal, oh my God. If you got a problem with the, the, the constipation, woo! I put a picture of that. Y'all, this Mercedes is knocking me, not to be talking, because you know, they say, I don't want nobody thinking I'm fucking bragging. But what threw me off the other day when I was driving my car, I was getting ready to get over, to get off on the exit, and I turned my eye. And I know you're like, Nate, this ain't got nothing to do with vegan. But let me tell you what scared the shit out of me, right? And I don't want to take it off because I feel like one day I will need it. But I had turned my eye to get over on the exit, and the car was stopped in front of me. But I had enough um, time to get over. I didn't put my, I, well, it could be my fault too, because I didn't put my um, turn signal on. And baby, when this car stopped by itself, that shit scared the hell out of me. You people that got Teslas, they got one right there. That shit scared the mess out of me. I, I mean, I need it because I'm not the best driver in the world. I haven't had a accident in years the last accident that i had that was my fault was in 1990 oh i want to say 97 maybe but i'm not i don't like driving i don't want to be a driver i just have a car because i don't like to wait on nobody okay but anyway getting back to the vegan journey for those of you who want to um start the journey with me god bless you because I be needing chubby buddies. And I'm right telling now. you guys, you can do it with me. We could do this thing together.